How do you add page numbers in InDesign? How do you add them to some pages but not others? How do you change the number to a Roman numeral? How do you add them over the top of objects like background colors on your pages? We're gonna cover all of that and some more here in this tutorial. Let's dive right in. Okay, first off, I've got a document, sample document set up with sample cover page. We've got just some regular facing pages. We've got some pages with different backgrounds, including dark backgrounds. So we're gonna look at how to add page numbers and how to keep your page numbers uh, different in different sections and everything that I can think of in regards to page numbers. To begin with, let's go ahead and add some page numbers. We need to do this on our master page. So if you open up your pages dropdown, and if any of these windows aren't on your window, I suppose, you can go up to window down and find them, and then you can adjust your workspace as needed. Now I'm gonna double click on my master, and what we need to add here is a page number. So to do that, I'm actually gonna place it down in the lower left and lower right hand corner of my margins, pressing T for the type tool, just gonna to draw a little box down here. And then we need to insert the page number. We can go up to type down to insert special character markers, current page number. That's gonna insert a little letter A. And this A, we can stylize however we want. So we can change the font over here. I'll change mine to something more bold like this Integra font. We can adjust the size and everything we need uh, is over here in our paragraph settings, just like any other piece of text. Now, the other thing that we wanna do is align it to the left and on the other side, align it to the right and also the bottom of our document. So to do that, we're actually gonna to change to the selection tool, make sure this text box is selected. Go back up to object down to text frame options, that's command or control B. And for vertical justification, we're gonna align it to the bottom. So I'm gonna hit okay, you can preview that if you want, but it's to the bottom and it's just already lined up to the left as well. We can duplicate this over to the right hand side, still lined up to the bottom. It's still gonna show the current page number and we're gonna align it to the right. So we've got left hand, right hand on here. And if we look at our pages, we actually have page numbers now. We've got one on the first page, two, three, four, five, but we can't see them on these. We'll cover that here in a second. So that's how you quickly add some page numbers. And this works the same if you don't have facing pages. If you just have single pages, works. everything works the exact same. So let's start off by hiding the cover page number. To do that, all we're gonna do is come up here to our master pages, and drag the none master onto the cover page. So we're not applying the master to that page. The other thing that you could do is right click on that page and do apply master to pages and then select which one or none to apply. Now you might have noticed that the number one started on this first page, which means number two starts here. But if you wanna skip the cover page and start with number one on what is the first page of your document, you're gonna to need to add a section. If we look back at our pages, this little triangle above shows the different sections. Right now we have a single section because it's all just one booklet here. But if we go to our first page, we can right click and go to numbering and section options. Another key point here is make sure on all your pages, allow document pages to shuffle and allow sec selected spread to shuffle are turned off. And we can make sure we do that just by shift clicking all of our pages, right clicking and making sure these two are unchecked. From there, we can go back to that first page where we want this new section to start and we can right click it and go to numbering and section options. In here, we wanna make sure we have check mark start section and instead of automatic page numbering, we're gonna start the page numbering at the number one on page two that we've selected here. Hit okay and that's going to say, hey, you've got number one in a different area we do, but it's turned off technically, so it's not a big deal. And we can just hit OK. Now it's going to show one on this page because it's the start of that section. And that's also how Roman numerals and such will work on your pages. So if we look back at the cover page and if we actually just maybe you wanted to put a Roman numeral on that page or maybe you had a different section in there, you can start these sections and put them wherever you want. So what I could do is just drag the master back onto the cover page here 
And instead of number one, because now you notice we have one and one, that's what the error was talking about earlier. Instead of number one, we could right click on that and go to numbering and section options again. And we can select the style as whatever we want, whether it's ABCD, capitalized, different numbers, or Roman numerals, lowercase, uppercase, doesn't matter. Now that's a lowercase i, but the font I chose doesn't really show that. But that's what that is there. So you could add different sections in like that, and that could cover multiple pages if you wanted. Now you might notice that as we scroll down here, because we have a shape on top of these two pages, it doesn't show over top, right? Our master page elements won't show over the top of these objects. Obviously, if that's our new page color, we want to show it over the top. So I'm gonna go back up to the master pages and I'm gonna select all the objects that we have on our master page here, which is our two page numbers. And I'm gonna make sure my layers panel is open and we're gonna create a new layer. And this new layer, you can rename it just by double clicking in there. We can name this master pages. And then we want all of these objects to be not in layer one, but rather in master pages. So now we have this master pages layer that's on top of everything else. Because we created a new layer, it's gonna show up on top of everything else in our document. I would recommend locking this layer because this layer will show up on your pages and you might accidentally start putting elements in there. You don't wanna do that. You wanna work below that master page element. So once you have your master page objects set, just lock that layer in. Now let's take a look back at our page three and four and you'll notice that our numbers are now appearing on top of those objects. But that's not helping us in the case of this page five and six where we really need to change the color of these objects of the page numbers. So I'm gonna go back up to that A master and we need to create a new master that has white or paper text color instead of the black text color. So anywhere you wanna change the text color or style, you need to create a new master page. And what we can do actually is just click on the A master, right click and duplicate. And so now we have a B master, which shows those special characters, the page numbers as B. That just kind of signifies which master page you're on. And with this, we can actually select these objects, but we can't because we locked that layer. So remember, we got to unlock the layer first when we want to make edits, select those two objects. We can adjust the fill over here in the appearance panel, make sure you're applying it to the text. And we can switch those to paper, which is basically gonna be white or whatever your paper color is uh, when you print this. Make sure we lock the master page back in. So now we have an A master, which we can double click and find up here. That's got that style and the B master, you can't see it because it's the paper color. That's okay. If we go back to our darker page, still have dark numbers because we didn't apply the master page to that, um, to that spread. So we wanna shift click on both of those, select both those pages, right click and go apply master to pages, kind of like we did before and we can select B master, hit okay. And that's gonna pull in the new text color for that spread. So any spread that you have that you need a different master element or master page on, all you need to do is select those spreads, right click and apply that master to those pages. So if we wanna look back at this, we can actually change this cover we can turn that off again just by selecting none and dragging it to the cover page. No number there. Maybe these first two pages we want with Roman numerals. So just like we did before, we can add as many sections as we want. Maybe three and four here. I wanna right click and I wanna go to numbering and section options. And instead of automatic, start this section at number one. The style is gonna be one, two, three, four. Hit okay, it's gonna say, hey, you've got that a couple spots, that's okay. One, two, three, four. Now on this top part here, what we can do is go back to this section and you can edit these section options and say, no, instead of numbers, I actually want these to be A, B, C, D or something like that. Hit okay and now that section is actually A and B and then it's gonna start the numbers here. And you can do that in whatever way your document calls for. So you can add these different sections, you can put the master page elements on top of your background, you can switch the style of your numbers but keep those numbers going just by changing a duplicated version of that master, You know, changing the font color on that page. 
So I think I covered pretty much everything. I didn't show you single pages, but all of this works exactly the same when you don't have facing pages. Now you can design this however you want on your master pages. We just did a page number, but you could put objects in there. You could put like the chapter, you could put anything like that into your lower left and right hand corner page numbers here in InDesign. So that's how to add page numbers. That's how to add sections, adjust the font, adjust the style, adjust the uh, appearance and the layers and everything here in InDesign. I hope this helped you. I hope it was pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them. Subscribe to this channel for more InDesign tutorials. Check out the description for my main channel and my other tutorial channels. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.